Big Wave Roy Johnson, eating and cheating, and today I'm answering your questions. Right, so for those who follow me on Instagram, I'll put up a Q&A or a question box on my Instagram. And I started answering the questions there and I got quite a few. And some of them I felt required a bit more time to answer them. So I thought, let me do it on here. So without further ado, let's get to it. <clears throat> Thoughts on the liver king. <laughs> right, okay. So for those who don't know, liver king guy called Brian Johnson uh, calls himself a liver king because he lives a life where he eats like raw livers and parts of animals that people give away from and the thing with him is he was selling supplements off the back of that and the main thing really was he was claiming he was completely 100% natural uh, he was asked on many different podcast interviews whether he's a natural whether he's taking drugs all that sort of stuff and he's always claimed that he hasn't it's since found out that he had he was exposed by uh, Derek from More Plates, More Dates, and Vigorous Steve, who was outed or revealed to be the coach that he had emailed. My thoughts on this, um, it's not the first person to sell supplements off the back of, um, not, not, just, not a lie, but misleading information, um, and he won't be the last. And as time's gone on, I kind of feel a bit more sorry for him, because he's been attacked from all angles. Um, Derek seems to be really enjoying the limelight and doing all sorts of podcasts and interviews on the, uh, talking about the, su the subject or whatever. And um, Liver King has since cut of uh, an apology and then uh, followed up on that with a, a recent podcast interview. Um, and at the end of the day, he's human. He's messed up. He's owned his mistake. And I don't think it's hurt his brand at all, really. So I don't know. But people are still talking about it, which is the thing, and I'm talking about it now. But, um, yeah, in short, he's human, he's made a mistake, he's owned up to it, and um, he's, moving on, he's moving on from it. And there'll be people who, who will no longer want to um, believe and invest in his brand and buy his products and stuff, and that's, that's absolutely fine and what they, what they should do, because I wouldn't. Um, but it's the fitness industry, it's all based off lies, so who cares? What I don't like is how Derek and others are kind of reveling in it now and just like, Move on. Right, next question. Are you going to LA for WrestleMania? Yes. Well, well, I'm not booked anything yet, but yes, I will be. Um, what are your goals for bodybuilding? Now, I just took up bodybuilding. This was something I wanted to see if I could do, and I got stepped on stage, and I really enjoyed the process, um, enjoyed how I looked, and to be honest, whilst being on prep sucks, it's you look good and you feel good in terms of how you look and stuff and I really enjoyed that process and um, I just enjoy bodybuilding so I'm going to continue to do it as long as I'm healthy and able to and I'd like to say the goal is to get a pro card but there's limiting factors in around my age and I haven't really found the, the, the right category for me yet I don't think open bodybuilding no way there's not no, no chance to get any sort of pro card in that if I move to classic I think I'm well proportioned and stuff for classic and I think if I put on a bit more size in like my legs I've got narrow waist and I can get conditioned enough who knows I might be in a few years um, of hard work I might be able to get a pro card as a masters or something I don't know who knows but I just want to enjoy it keep doing it stay healthy and enjoy it um, right next favorite cheat meal now I would in the past have fried chicken uh, but I've not really had too much of that in the last year or so uh, I'd probably say five guys five guys bacon cheeseburger um, with uh, flicking between the Cajun fries and the regular fries but um, and then I'll follow that up with 
brownies and ice cream. Because I love brownies and ice cream. Great combination. Okay. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm cold because it's, we're in December. It's minus whatever degrees. Um, nursing a couple of niggling injuries. My my knee injury, the soft tissue injury, is a lot better than it was. Um, competent, moving on that, running on that, walking on that, putting weight on it. Um, I'm training my legs back again, almost 100% capacity, and yeah, all good, nice and recovered. But then I've injured my thumb. You can't probably can't see it too well, but it's a bit fatter than the other thumb, and I can't because it can't really raise it. Um, we're gonna get that looked at. So anyway, there's no resting for me. Um, probably for about for five six weeks, so I can rest that. And I'm training around it by way of using a thumb brace, and by not doing anything. Um, that's, that requires a barbell or a dumbbell, apart from deadlifts, I've, I've somehow figured out how to deadlift heavy without involving this thumb. So anyway, but other than that, life is life in as it is for everyone else. I uh, have my good days and my bad days, but other than that, I am good. Would you like to wrestle anywhere in the US? Yes, I would, and I hope to achieve that in 2023. Um, Proud of my career. Making my WWE debut live on the WWE Network in Blackpool. My mum passes the front row. Can't beat him. Um, everything pattern four. Yes. Uh, <laughs> speaking of which, can you shed any light on the progress thing? Yes, I can. So, the Dubai thing, as I've said, none of my business. You know, don't begrudge anyone going to Dubai to wrestle because if someone asked me if I wanted to go and wrestle in Dubai, I would happily do it. Um, the thing for me was the use of Everything Patterned, uh, the brand which um, that I own. I, I have owned intellectual property of, of that and um, it's my brand. Uh, the use of that to dig themselves out of a hole is how I saw it anyway. It might not have been the case, but it's how I saw it. And... Um, uh, I think with it, I always had the feeling when I, you know, when I, when I saw it being used in, in, in such a way, and there's other various things that happened um, during and after. And it would progress, as so I had the feeling that progress or uh, taking ownership of the, of the concept on the brand. Um, just like a couple of things, like for example, um, graphics going up without my name on it. Um, and the thing that really hurt me the most, actually, about the whole process of something that's, that, that will forever sting for me is the show going up on the WWE Network um, without my name attached to the graphics. Um, whilst it might not be a big deal to some, it, it would have been a very proud moment for my wrestling career to have a show go up on the WWE Network with my name attached to it. And that moment's been taken away from me. And it, I'll never get that moment now. So... Um, which is something that's, that's will sit with me for, for a while and it's something that, that stings quite a bit and you know it's not spring break it's Joe Janela's spring break it's not um, big gay brunch it's Effie's big gay brunch um, and I'm sure if you ask those two guys having their name attached to their brand and you know something that they've, they've, they've built with wrestling is very important to them and having that taken from me is not is you know not the best and i just i just didn't feel feel like the the progress word that interested in the brand after they ran it um because i ran it with another another um wrestling company promotion restival and the you know progress kind of wasn't interested in in in, in the brand at all yeah that's how i feel about it um end of the day I have no ill will towards Progress. Um, Progress uh, as a wrestling company very close to me is where I started training. It's where I made my wrestling debut. It's where I've had a lot of notable moments within my wrestling career. It's, it's given me a lot of opportunities within wrestling. Um, I have a good relationship with, with people within Progress. Um, it's just, I just wish there had been some communication 
before the press statement went out and asked if I was happy for, for the brand to be used. And also use a trademark, it's, it's a trademark term. Um, yeah, and, and that's where we were with that. Yeah, it's somewhere that I'd, li I'd like to also finish up my career at. And I think, unfortunately, I don't know if that will ever happen now. I would hope that I haven't burnt bridges and a regret that I have for for, the, for this year and I guess many oh, this year and probably my wrestling career now is speaking out about that particular incident so uh, in such a knee jerk fashion um, and because whilst I had every right to say what I, what I did say um, I sincerely hope that's not going to bite me in the backside um, for a smart career because um, you know I really wouldn't like to limit opportunities where I can wrestle and, and who I can wrestle <clears throat> thanks for that question um, how is Jesse? <laughs> um, Jesse's fine thanks what did you eat immediately after your bodybuilding show? well if you're talking about my first one it would have been a tub of brownies if you're talking about my last one would have been also a tub of brownies followed by a Burger King. And then the next day I had that stupid eating challenge that I filmed that you would have seen, maybe. Um, what's my proud, most proud of achieving in 2022? Uh, my first bodybuilding show. Um, you know, stepping on stage, I never thought I'd be able to do it. I was one of these people who, who assumed that I do not have the genetics to get lean I don't have the genetics to have abs, so I was quite happy being in my little piggy state in my singlet. I, I don't, people please don't take this as me you know, self deprecating or any of that sort of stuff. I know I don't look that bad, but I never thought I'd have abs. That's the whole point. Um, resting golf for 2023. Um, <laughs> to keep my mouth shut and keep myself out of trouble. Um, to wrestle abroad, to wrestle on TV, um, to keep enjoying it, um, put on a good show for the fans and, and stuff, um, to get back to training because I've not been training as, as vigorously within wrestling as I had been in the past due to the bodybuilding and due to injuries and stuff. Um, but yeah, I just want to keep enjoying it. Um, everything patterned for five, six, whatever, just keep that brand going. And there's a number of people that I want to wrestle next year. I'm not going to name them on, on this because it might not mean anything to some people. It might mean a lot to others, but end of the day, I can't make that happen if I voice it out loud. I need to go and do the work and talk to the promoters and that sort of stuff. I believe I missed this answer out because it's very important. Win some bloody gold. Whether that's tag team gold, singles gold, I need gold see these shoulders built for championships right i'll keep this as my last one as it leads nicely into our gym session what part of your physique do you think you need to work on the most um my legs notably my hamstrings um if i get those can get those up a bit i have some nice depth to my side shots and it will improve my back shots as well god that sounds awful it will improve my back there's no other way to say it, I'm sorry. So man them who are laughing at me saying the, the phrase back shots. My how I look from the back in a bodybuilding context. Um also to my my, my delts. Um is something that was noted in my feedback from my last show. Um other than that, I'm happy with everything else really. And I as I mentioned that I have a, quite a thin waist and if I go into to classic bodybuilding, that should help me out. But I saw any bigger legs. So legs, legs, legs. Hello, hello. It's Friday. I'm about to have my pre-workout meal. Um, not on the sofa because it's very cold in London at the moment. It's probably about minus one. And I'm treating myself to have the heating on. But it's still very cold. So anyway, I get up and have my pre-workout meal, watch a bit of YouTube and then head to the gym. Right, pre-workout meal, we've got 125 grams of cream of rice, 30 grams of protein, and 20 grams of dark chocolate, and look at that. Look how good that is. Look. 
Oh yeah, I'm the daddy of making cream of rice. Fuck George Osborne, I can do it myself. Don't need your tips, bruv. Right, back from the gym, I'm about to smash this down. 175 grams of cereal and 35 grams of weight isolate. But I'm gonna have a nap first because I deserve it. Right, next question. Which podcast do you listen to? Right, regularly I listen to Rest Things podcasts. That's probably the only wrestling podcast I listen to at the moment. Um, in terms of fitness and bodybuilding, I listen to um, Real Bodybuilding Podcast, Fred Abiad's podcast, um, slash bro chat. Um, Justin Mahaley's Grow or Die podcast. Um, I think Big Bodybuilding Podcast, they do a, a variety of different topics um, and have quite regular podcasts. Uh, Mind Pump, I listen to their, their podcast as well. Sometimes I listen to Mark Bell's Power Project, if they've got an interesting topic on there. Um, Generation Iron, if there's an interesting guest or interesting topic on there. Um, John Jewett's J3 podcast. And John Doe Bodybuilding. Yeah, I find those quite interesting as well. So yeah, a variety of different fitness and bodybuilding podcasts. I'm really trying to get my knowledge on that. And I just enjoy those particular podcasts. So, and I guess a lot of the, the rest of the questions here are quite samey. So we'll leave it there. Thank you for your questions for those who asked me. Thank you for taking part. Thank you for allowing me to have some content for you this week. Take care. Like, subscribe, comment for the algorithm. If you want to support me, you can get one of these lovely bits of merchandise from my big cartel. So I've still got some in stock, so get on that. Until next time, keep eating, keep cheating.